the one thing I would say to people is don't believe them when they say it's a merger of equals because there is no such thing. Somebody's buying somebody else, right? That's number one. So we were told that nothing to worry about. We'd be running that piece and this and that, but that's not the way it kind of came down. It was like, seriously? This season of the SBA Roadshow is sponsored by Ready Capital. I'm Dustin Baker. We're on a mission to build community through shared story. The road is calling. You're gonna do some fun stuff and you really ought to watch it because it's gonna be amazing and all the cool kids are doing it. So join me on the SBA Roadshow. We are again departing Tulsa, Oklahoma and we're hitting the road. On the way to Denver, Colorado today and then later in a week or so on to Park City, Utah, Salt Lake City, Utah and a circuitous trip home. We're gonna collect many more stories of grit and determination. Join us because we're gonna do a lot of cool things but we're gonna also see a lot of cool people and hear a lot of cool stories. And of course, all the cool kids are still doing it. I wonder if when people went on road trips in the 60s, they didn't have to stop every 50 miles to pay someone for the road that their taxes should already have paid for. And if that makes me sound like a curmudgeon, well, maybe I am. <laughs> Country roads take me home to Colorado. Where they don't charge no toll. West Virginia, my mama, take me home. Toll roads. My turn. Okay, that's all my cynicism quota for the day. Well done. Filling up for the first time on the trip. We just got into Kansas, a little south of Wichita. And uh, the scenery definitely changed all of a sudden. We are on our way. Off, as my wife would say, like a herd of turtles. So, come along. Brian Burke was the national SBA director at Bank One back before Bank One was Chase. He grew up, I think, as a sheep rancher in Wyoming. Uh, has a lot of brothers and sisters and tons of great stories to share. Uh, Brian was a board member at Nagel in 1999 when I joined that uh, trade association. And in about 24 hours, I'll let you say hello to him. Hey, Dustin. It's been a while, but here we are in your home. Thank you for opening it up for us. Absolutely. So, Great to have you. Uh, and I, I couldn't think of a better way to start the second season of this show than uh, with a, one of my longest time friends in this industry. So thanks for, thanks for doing this with us. You betcha. It's a, it's a pleasure. And I, I, I love the idea of the project. Yeah. Um, so um, just tell uh, the people want to know who you are. <laughs> So tell everybody kind of who you are and what you, what you do sure. in this space day to day. Sure. Well, I had a, I had a guy ask me one time, it was actually for a, a, a news interview during Small Business Week, and, and he just said, uh, so, you know, so what do you do? And, I, I just, and we joked, and he goes, Brian Burke, he said, that sounds like big, big bad banker, you know, kind of the big, <laughs> he's playing off the BBB thing. And uh, I got a kick out of that. Well, these days, I'm a business development officer, a BDO. I work directly with uh, small business folks, and uh, I I'm loving it because uh, over the years I've often uh, been, you know, in management and managing people, and not as close to the uh, to the customer, to the client. So this is uh, this is a lot of fun for me to kind of come full circle after all these years and uh, be working directly with small business folks. Tell me how you kind of got mixed up in this SBA lending business initially. Kind of what, what did that look like for you and how you kind of stumbled into the space that we've both been in for so long? Sure. So uh, it could cut it at different times, but I was raised in a business family in Wyoming. My folks were 
sheep and cattle folks. And it was a small business family. It was a ranching family. We were a, a big family. I was ninth of ten uh, kids because um, they needed hands on the ranch. <laughs> just, just keep having them. <laughs> exactly. Cheap labor. Uh, so I'd always been around, you know, banking and business and 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 that, but always from the other side of the desk. And then um, uh, after a stint in, in Australia, running some sheep and cattle places in my early to mid 20s, came back to the uh, States, moved to Colorado in uh, the late 80s and, uh, and, and got into banking formally. And uh, one of my early bosses said, you know, with your real estate background, with your business background, um, really, you, you know, in small business, uh, you ought to think about SBA. And I could barely spell it then to be honest with you, but uh, that's kind of where it started back in about 91. So it was, a, it was an interesting way to, st you know, to launch a career, but I learned a lot about business for sure. What, what are some stories that stand out over the years of businesses that you, know, you saw them in the beginning and then they've become something um, that's pretty special down the road? Well, there, there are so many, but you know, a, a few that, uh, that I guess I could call up. One in particular is a for a while, I was working for a company that really focused on uh, underserved communities, uh -huh. women, women business owners, veterans, uh, people of color, uh, startups, you know, the, the, the little bit harder to do deals. Um, you had to, but we had a, that was our target market. And uh, so I helped a, 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 a woman doctor with, uh, with, to buy a building. She, uh, she had a very good practice. And, you know, this was a big deal for her. It wasn't a huge uh, financial transaction, but it was, it was huge for her. And it was, you know, really an important uh, deal to get done in a low-income community that primarily served uh, Latinx women. And um, that, that, was a, that was a neat deal. One of the big reasons that, that it's so impactful to work in this industry mm -hmm. is, I don't know, many spaces where what you do has such a direct impact on the community in which you live, where you can drive past and see that communities are flourishing in a way they wouldn't flourish otherwise. I was thinking about related to not just adversity, but um, what, what comes along sometimes when you hit a bump in the road and there's just nothing to do except you got to turn right or left, but you can't keep going straight. Mm. And we all have to deal with those kind of things. So that happened for you when Bank One gets acquired by Chase and you're running this national team. It's very successful. You're mentoring people. Uh, it's just flourishing. And this bigger bank comes in and they buy your bank and there's, there can't be two SBA division managers. And so, and so now here's a fork in the road and you've got to figure out what to do at that point. And that's, a moment of adversity that probably leads you into some things in your career that you may maybe you don't do if that doesn't happen right and so and i know there's been some good from that but um so you are not a stranger to what it feels like to have to figure out what the plan is now that the plan changed yeah. you know yeah i have i have no trouble answering that question uh <clears throat> destin and um it was interesting because uh many of my colleagues in this in this industry have gone through mergers and acquisitions. And uh, the one thing I would say to people is, don't believe them when they say it's a merger of equals, because there is no such thing. Somebody's buying somebody else, right? That's number one. Number two is, uh, you know, bank one was 80% of the pie, and Chase was 20. And that was a little known fact. So we were told that we would, uh, you know, there's nothing to worry about, we'd be running that piece. and. This and that, but that's not the way it kind of came down. It was like they, it was like, well, you'll be you'll be moving to Houston, and I said, seriously? I said, Denver, Houston? Come on! No, no disrespect to Houston. <laughs> to our Houston nice, viewers. Yeah, to our Houston. It's a lovely viewers. place. A lot of nice. Except people. for August. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, I mean, I'm a I'm a I'm a Western guy. I'm a Colorado guy. I'm a you know, and so and my wife had a great job, so that wasn't on. So that for personal reasons. They made it a lot easier, and um, and and we we parted company on very good terms. And uh, I actually my last day at Bank One was the last day before the merger in '04. And uh, but I've continued to maintain relationships with uh, Chase. I've done a lot of things with them, and uh, I you know I, I have great respect for 
those kinds of players. Mm -hmm. But I was also at a part, point in my career, Dustin, where I was ready for a different challenge, mm -hmm. too. So there is that old expression that when a window closes, a, a door opens mm -hmm. or something like that. And, yes, I think that that has happened for me uh, several times in my career. And, and it, seems, it, it might seem a little uh, challenging at the time, but these things tend to work out in the long run. Yeah. Yeah. One more question, and that, and that is just from the last year and the challenges of, of this year, is there kind of one lesson that you have learned or something that you kind of have, a, have picked up that you'll take forward for good, uh, that, you're, that you're glad uh, that you've learned even through the challenges of this last year? Yeah. I think if I were to say anything, it'd just be a little kinder and, and a little more patient mm. And I really hope that we can, um, you know, learn to let each other up a little bit and let ourselves up, because uh, this has been this has been a tough experience, but we will get through it. And I think our our industry is better for it. I think small business will uh, be the champion and the job provider that um, that it's been more than ever. And I think it'll lead us out of these uh, economic tough times. But uh, I'm hoping that we can all be just a little kinder and a little gentler with each other. I'm Dustin Baker. I am still Dustin Baker. <laughs> Country roads take me home to Colorado Where they don't charge no toll West Virginia Mountain mama, take me home, tow roads. Subscribe to our newsletter at sbaroadshow.com slash subscribe to see where we'll be next.